I think the Commonwealth Games is one of those competitions where, uh, for me, it holds fantastic memories. Well, 98 was, was an amazing year for myself. I'd already become European champion, and then I went to the World Cup in South Africa, which a lot of people advised me not to do because I was having to fly to Commonwealth Games in Kuala Lumpur and race the day after I arrived. A lot of my rivals went in a month before to relax, and I was on a bit of a roll. Um, it was one of those years where I, I seemed to not be able to help but run fast. And I got to the Commonwealth Games and I was really jet lagged and I was so tired but my viewpoint was you either go in weeks in advance to acclimatise or you go in last minute and you don't know, your body clock doesn't know where you are and that's the attitude I had and I went there with if I become Commonwealth Champion as well it would be everything. I was a bit worried for the final if I'm honest because the day before in the semi-final I'd run a very strange race where me and Jamie Balsh were, were roommates and really close friends and he had lane two and I was in lane four and I said to him, if you're up there with a hundred to go, just hang on to me mate, let me know you're close. And when I came off the top bend, he called me something which I can't say on TV and he shouted, you and you, and called me something. And I was like, are you joking? Are you talking to me in the Commonwealth Games semi-final? I remember I looked round and I was like, come on then, wave into him, let's go. And I actually ran 44-6-1, which is a Commonwealth Games record and I couldn't believe I'd run so fast being so relaxed. But inside, psychology, I was thinking, do you know what, I may have done too much. I could have won that race in 45. I didn't need to run quite as quick. So come the final, my legs were heavy, but I was trying to tell myself, no, they're not, no, they're not, one more race. The first time ever Wales have had a man in the 400 metre final in the game's history. Now they've got two. It was just a case of being confident. You're there, you're in the Commonwealth Games final. It was a fantastic stadium and I was desperate to be champion. Thomas now trying to get away from Bolsch, who's trying to hang on to uh, Thomas through the halfway point. Richardson also going well. And this is where it unwinds. Telekarant is still right there, but here comes Thomas and Richardson and Bolsch. The Sri Lankan looks across and it's Thomas now in the lead. Thomas for Wales and Richardson, his great rival, coming through the near side. Thomas is holding on through sheer strength. Thomas wins. When I crossed the line, it was a lot closer than every other race I've had that year. I remember I came through the line and I turned to my friend, Doug Turner, who's in the 200, and I actually said, did I win? Did I win? I couldn't see if I'd won it. And I had, and it was just like a dream come true. Well, no Welshman has ever reached a final of the 400 metres before, and this one, Thomas, has broken the game's record, 44.54. I was so proud. I mean, for me, representing Wales, it only happened every four years. So the Commonwealth Games were a very big part of my career.